Dear Techland, here's how you can fix Dying Light 2. I have many suggestions for you that can help you improve Dying Light 2. Now, you know me, I've been a fan of Dying Light since 2015 and I've been part of this community since then. In fact, I'm honored to be recognized by the community as well as by Techland. And they have supported me and sent me a lot of gifts over the years. I'm really thankful for everything you guys have done for me. Now since the launch of Dying Light 2, I wanted to discuss about all the issues this game has. In fact, I even made a 37 minutes long video where I reviewed this game and talked about its issues. But recently, one of my viewers tagged me in a tweet that was done by Timon Smektala, the lead game designer at Techland. In his tweet, he basically asked the community for what they would like to see added in Dying Light 2 as people wanted this game to be more like Dying Light 1. So here are my suggestions. Starting with the day and night atmosphere. Why is the night of Dying Light 2 so bright? In my in my opinion, it's too bright and kind of messes with the immersion of being in a zombie apocalypse. Also, considering the fact that Dying Light 2 is set 15 years in the future, the city just feels more alive. I will give you an example of E3 2019 demo gameplay. The city, the atmosphere just feels right here. It has that dark tone to it. So if you can make the world feel more like this E3 2019 demo, then it would be great. In fact, the nights, which are too bright in Dying Light 2, needs to be a bit darker, just like the nights of the first game, Dying Light. Next, please bring some endgame content to this game. This game really needs it. The reason why many people are not playing this game is because of the lack of endgame content. Now, the best thing you guys can give the community is a PvP mode. Dying Light had a be the zombie mode, which is the main reason why the first game was so active even years after its release. In fact, many people still play be the zombie till date and I'm sure you guys are aware of that. So if you add a be the zombie mode to Dying Light 2, then people will love it. In fact, you also talked about a possibility of a survival mode in future. So if you can bring that survival mode in Dying Light 2, then people will surely enjoy that content for the upcoming years. So it's simple, add a PvE mode or a PvP mode to Dying Light 2. Next, we need more variety in weapons. I don't mean different tiers, I mean different types of weapons. Dying Light 2 weapons are very generic and are not unique in any way. You remember the Scorpio weapon from E3 2019 demo? Add that back please and make more unique weapons like this. Add some glowing weapons, skins for grappling hook and paraglider and please make this game more rewarding and fix the loot drops. Majority of time this game just drops you the same weapon again and again so please fix that. So yeah basically add more weapon types and unique makeshift weapons. Next add a nightmare difficulty to this game. Yes this game needs a new difficulty, the game just feels very easy with the current difficulty sets. Next fix the night chase. Yes make volatiles, virals and the special infection roam around the world not as a legendary encounter but make them roam normally more commonly just like how we had in the first dying light in fact please make volatiles night walkers virals and howlers start a chase make all of them start a chase reduce the number of howlers in one area and add in more variety of zombies that will detect you and depending on who spots you the chase level differs Let's say a volatile spots you, then the chase that starts will start with level 3. If a howler spots you, then the chase starts with a level 1, but if a viral spots you, then it starts with a level 2 chase. Doing this will actually make the night more scary and fun. Also, do something about these special zombies you created for Dying Light 2. Banshees, Revenant, Charger and Drowner. These zombies are simply underutilized and I see them very rarely in action. So set Mr. Revenant free from the GRE anomaly thing and bring banshees on the rooftops and on the ground, including Charger. Also, can you please fix the Drowner and possibly add a new ability or a move to it? I hate the fact that Drowner is just a rebranding of hordes of hazmats from the first game. They are Drowners, make them unique, something like the Drowners from the Witcher games. Next, Techland, no HUD means no HUD. Remove every single thing from the screen including these howler icons and the prompt showing the area location. No HUD is not a default setting so people choose to go to no HUD on their own choice. So no need to make no HUD so easy for them. Make it a true no HUD. Next is something you guys are already working on and it's a ranks and level system. So that's a good thing. Next are the blueprints. Please Techland, please add more blueprints to the game and please let us find these blueprints in the world. I don't want to buy them from the craft master, it's very boring. You guys perfected this in Dying Light by adding multiple blueprints around the world that player needed to go and look for. Here I just buy all of that from the craft master. That's pretty lame and boring. In fact, give us weapon blueprints like how we had in the Dying Light. I want to craft my own weapons. Next, increase the stash storage limit and add more slots to the inventory. Next, 
fix the ragdoll animation and some other animations. Also, I don't know why, but the drop kicks to spikes don't really feel satisfying enough like how it did back in Dying Light. It just feels weird. So maybe look into that. Next, this is my personal opinion, but can you please make the UV light more like the first game? I just don't like this UV light from Dying Light 2 and I don't use it at all. Next, give us an option to repair our weapons. Not with the correct charm, I mean an actual workbench or something like the first game where you use the metal parts to repair a weapon on the go. Any of these will work, I seriously won't mind a workbench or I would say the best way to do it is to allow us to repair our weapons at the Craftmaster itself. Boom, that's, that's your solution. Next, allow us to throw our weapons at the enemy. That shit is needed. And yeah, I've been doing a lot of voting polls on my channel where I ask people some few questions. So out of 30,000 votes, 77% of people want gun in this game. Now, I know all the modern Dark Ages theme and all that stuff, but people can create custom weapon that shoots some sort of projectile. That can be done, it's possible. So maybe look into that. Finally, add some new outfits so people can look different in co-op. So the outfits, they make you look like Waltz, Frank, or Hakon, or any other character from the game. You guys had this in the first game. You could play as Rise, Bracken, or you can play as any other character in the game. Like, not all the characters, but still, there were enough characters. So hopefully, I have covered everything that the community and I myself wanted to see added in Dying Light 2. And if I missed something, then please do leave your ideas and suggestions in the comments below. It's 4 in the morning for me, so if I missed something because I was sleepy as fuck, then yeah, you guys can definitely tell me in the comments. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay human.